good evening from Washington Dulles Airport and welcome to a new video. Today I'm flying to London Heathrow with United Airlines on a pretty old aircraft, Boeing 767. Boarding for my flight has already started, so let's quickly rush to the gate. Your attention please, there is a boarding call for passengers traveling with United Flight 1269 service. At this time I didn't even have a confirmed seat on this flight. My boarding pass stated sea agent and when I arrived at the gate, the gate agent gave me a boarding pass and sadly I wasn't able to change to a window seat. My seat was in the last row of economy class, right in front of the lavatories. And even worse, I wasn't even able to recline my seat. You can find a pillow and a blanket on your seat. In between the seats, you can find universal power outlets. With 31 inches, the seat pitch was a bit tight, and I'm not sure if United still does this, but in late May they handed out sanitizing wipes. The seat itself reminded me pretty much of a seat I would expect on a shorter flight. At least there was a headrest, so that should be okay for the next 7 hours. All seats also came for personal IFE, which we are going to check out later. So sadly, by not having a window seat, I wasn't able to film takeoff. So see you in a bit after takeoff. There was Wi-Fi on board this Boeing 767. Messaging apps like Facebook, WhatsApp, and iMessage can be used for free. There's many other airlines who charge you for that, even if you're flying in business class, so I'm quite satisfied with the service United Airlines provides. So this is United Airlines in flight entertainment. A few weeks earlier, I was flying on United Airlines Streamliner and I was positively surprised by the IFE. This one is a bit older, but in my opinion, it's still better than what most airlines provide. Headphones are also provided. On some aircraft, you can even use your own Bluetooth headphones. Nice. A bit later, the first service started and they got some pretzels and apple juice. On this flight, dinner and breakfast was offered. So my dinner was butter chicken with rice, it came with salad, a bun and ice cream. The quality of the food was okay, also considering that this was airplane food. What I didn't like was that everything was in plastic, so there was plastic cutlery, but also the plates were made out of plastic, and there are some airlines where at least the plates are reusable. However, that's something I noticed generally in the United States. United Airlines has room for improvement here, and for my next flight with United Airlines, I would highly appreciate if they could at least replace the plastic cutlery. After my dinner, I decided to watch Scream. This movie was pretty new, it was released only 4 months before. Thank you. Now we are halfway through the flight and most passengers were sleeping. Honestly, I have no clue how passengers could have slept. The seat pitch was tight, the seats were thin, and for me this aircraft also felt pretty noisy. But I'm not here to complain. I'm flying in economy class, and further than that, I can usually not sleep on my flights unless I'm really tired. About one hour before the landing, breakfast was served. Honestly, the portion wasn't really big. I got a cinnamon stick and a strawberry yogurt. 
and personally he has the same problem as I had with the dinner. And that's a lot of plastic United Airlines. We are getting closer to London now, the flight is coming to an end and I do have mixed feelings about it. My check-in at gate experience was pretty good. Also connecting Washington was way easier than they expected it to be. The United app is probably the best airlines app I've ever seen. Hats off for that United. Some negative points about this flight however is the uncomfortable seat and also the food presentation. If you're fine with that and it's no big deal for you, I can totally recommend United Airlines. And that's everything from my side and now please enjoy the approach at London Heathrow. Thanks for the flight United Airlines. By the way, do you want to save time when arriving at Heathrow? It's pretty simple. There's two gates here. One for arriving passengers and the other one for connecting passengers. Even though I am an arriving passenger, let's choose the connecting gate. And well, big surprise, after being separated, passengers are going to be mixed again. I really hope you enjoyed this trip to London and if you did so please leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Have a great weekend and see you soon for the next video.